Alrighty, so this is my animal development modeling. So here we're starting with our egg and our sperm. Uh, so there's going to be a fertilization event. Um, at that point, we will now have um, a zygote. So this is just a single cell, um, and we now have a zygote. So through mitotic division, this zygote is going to start to divide, and it's going to become a solid cluster of cells called amorula. Uh, due to the nature that the interior cells are not going to have as good access to uh, nutrients and stuff, this little uh, amorula is going to start to uh, spread out. So these cells are going to spread out to the outer part and inside we're going to have the blastocele, uh, which is kind of just a hollow area. Inside of the whole thing is called a blastula. So it's just going to be a bunch of cells um, in a hollow ball form. So what is going to happen next is what really kind of gets interesting. This is what separates uh, the animals uh, from the rest, which is gastrulation. So at this point, we will now have an invagination of this blastula. And we're going to end up with two uh, cell laters. One's going to be the outer, which is the ectoderm, and then we're going to start to create the uh, uh, endoderm, which is the internal cell later. Um, this whole structure is the gastrula. Uh, the blastopore down here, depending on whether it's going to be a protostome or a deuterostome, is going to turn into uh, a mouth or an anus. Um, this kind of empty space right in here uh, is the archenteron. Um, I've got two representations of mesoderm. One would be mesoderm formed uh, by a protostome, which means that they are going to form their mouth first, and then this would be representing the mesoderm formation of a deuterostome where their anus is going to form first, which is uh, actually people. Um, in the middle, in the si inside of these is going to be our coelome.